Hello world, lockpicking dev. Today I have an Avis wavy line. This is one of those cool locks that has a really cool looking key. It makes it look big, bad, and scary like, oh no, I wish I could pick that. And uh, the key means nothing. This is, uh, there's not really an extra added security to it besides um, key duplicating protection. There's pin five. Let me go so we get a better angle for y'all. And three. Four. Oh, there's three again. I actually think we just overset one. Oh, no, nope, there it is. There we go. Okay, making sure. One is set now. Five. <laughs> Four. Almost there. There we go. There's our open. I must have just hit it just right. I had to let a little tension off there. I noticed that in the beginning I had a little too much tension on it and uh, yeah, just wasn't getting anything out of it. Yeah, there's an Avis, wa Avis, Avis wavy line. I will be home to gut that because I'm very interested in getting it. Let me show you the key. Yeah, so it looks like a car key. You can flip it and stick it in the keyway, whichever way you like. And I'll go ahead and um, stick the key in just to demonstrate. So you can stick it in that way, flip it over, stick it in that way. And these are just for key control. These are bearings on the side for key control. Yeah, the uh, hardest part about this lock really is the um, this little lip right here because the pins rest on top of it so you can't go inside the warning, warding. Because a lot of Yale style keyways, the pins will go through that warding and you just lift it up through there, through that hole. But this one you cannot. Anyways, be home soon to gut that. Let me show you around. I am in Zion National Park, and I am on the Angels Landing side of it. This is not the Angels Landing Trail, because that does require a permit. But this is just on the other side of Angels Landing, so you can go do this trail without a permit. Thank you, Ranger, for that suggestion as I was on my way up and dying. An amazing day for it, too. Even up top here, it's not super windy or anything, so it's not freezing cold, not dying. Yeah. All right, that was an Avis wavy line, and yeah, we are in the West Room Trail near Angel's Landing, and I'll be home soon to gut that for you. All right, we are back, and I already have this gutted, and I already have this gutted for a reason, because, man, it is a um, it is very daunting key and a very daunting gut, and let me show you why. So, the bottom row here, these bottom two rows are our normal key pins that we are picking on. So along the top of the key right here. So I'll, all those pins ride along the top of the key right there. And so these ones up here are pins for the, uh, the, um, the ball bearings in the side. And we can find those 
here's the uh, side bar it is crimped in you can see sorry about that there we go it is crimped in you can see right there crimped in on the sides and we flip it right here here actually this way you can see them right there you can see them actually rock back and forth just a little bit but yeah there they go right there can see them rocking back and forth in there and that's what fits into the those grooves and the key right there <coughs> what's interesting about these um, those pins specifically is the bottom ones um, on the bottom part of the plug where the key pins are those four holes to the left there all of them have some serrations it seems so a little bit right there, right there, right there, right there. And I'm not sure if that's a security feature. It looks like it is because that one has one, two, two, and one. So I'm assuming it is, but you don't really feel that at all because you're not exactly picking that at all. You're just picking the bottom pins here, or not the bottom pins here, the normal key pins that you'd be picking. These don't really have too much to do with it, but I'm assuming that when a wrong key is put in there that it would, um, the key here, if we insert it here, you can see the ball bearings fit right in there. I'm assuming if we put the wrong key in there, that it pushed the ball bearings too far over and it wouldn't allow this to turn is what I'm assuming would happen here. And interesting with these, um, these pins as well on the bottom here and the top actually so for the part that goes in the Bible you can see that they're all see how that's flush with the core and the reason why it's able to be is because they're all angled like that so when you set it in this one doesn't fall away like that it goes flush with the core like that. That way it can freely rotate in there without catching. That's the same with our top pins up here. So the part that goes in the top in the Bible, you can see those are also angled and the top part, almost the tip has a point on it, but it's kind of flat around the point. So I think that's just to fit nice and snugly and keep it um, in, uh, in place with the spring. And then show you the actual the Bible itself. So you can see in here, uh, interesting enough that there are five holes on the right hand side there for those um, key restriction ball bearing pins right there, except this very first one remains empty. It is not used. You can see that on our core here. So you can see there's five, there's four over here, but the first one over here is missing. So we do not populate that one when we're rekeying it or um, uh, repenting it. But yeah, this is the Avis Wavy Line. Very interesting key, had to get it. Um, it's not a hard pick, but the um, gutting it itself, I believe, was the hardest part. Anyways, that was Avis Wavy Line. That was picked at um, the West Rim Trail at Angels, right next to Angels Landing at Zion National Park. All right, everyone. Thanks for watching.